Yeah, hi, my name is Derek Salim. Um, I lead marketing for Rightware, which is a Finnish software company headquartered in Helsinki. Uh, like I said, we're a software company, and our core product is um, uh, design tools and design and development tools for automotive UIs. Uh, we've been shipping in cars and on the road since 2012, when Audi was our first public uh, reference customer. And um, um, right now we're in uh, 35 car brands in production or uh, development. Um, our core product is uh, Kanzi UI. Kanzi is the name of our product family, and that's the actual design and development toolkit for, uh, for the UI itself. Um, a very efficient workflow. We decouple design from engineering, so we remove these cycles of, of, of design uh, development test, design development test, and really accelerate development in an easy to use uh, tool. And uh, we put designers first. Uh, in, and allow them to do very rapid prototyping. They export binaries, which run on target hardware already, so very rapid prototyping and efficient development is our, is our ethos. Um, we've now introduced a new product called Tanzi Connect, which is a connectivity framework which allows for, for um, seamless connectivity across devices, independent of, of, of the operating system, independent of the, har independent of the hardware, even independent of the UI framework. You don't need to use Tanzi UI to use Tanzi Connect. So like I said, it's basically a um, connectivity framework. And what I'm, the picture that I have here is from Google I.O. Uh, back about three, four weeks ago, three, three weeks ago, Audi showed their uh, Q8 sport concept car. And this got quite a lot of press. Um, and um, because of what we've actually enabled for uh, Audi using Tanzi Connect, They're, this is under, available under a preview program right now. Uh, Audi is one of our lead customers who's actually uh, developing and providing us feedback about this uh, technology. And um, so what you see here is, is there's a HVAC control uh, unit that was developed with Kanzi. The cluster itself was developed with Kanzi, and the IVI console in the middle, the, the head unit, is uh, Android embedded. And what Kanzi Connect allows you to do, we have a server running in, it happens to be in the uh, HVAC control unit, and there's clients running on all the devices. And we're able to bring Google Maps data, like uh, street names and GPS and turn-by-turn -turn directions, into the, the cluster, as well as then the Kanzi uh, Connect server goes out to the cloud, to the here maps, to the here open, open location platform, and brings in other map data, like the, the geometry and the tiles, map tiles, et cetera, and present all of that on the cluster. If you actually go online and take a look at some of the videos uh, that were posted after Google I.O., the, the Google representative who was sitting in the passenger seat talking about this brought up a couple interesting things. He said, first, that uh, the things that were interesting to me were that, that first, um, you wouldn't want to bring in the open Android marketplace into the cluster, the safety-critical cri RTOS environment there. And the other thing that he said was, we've got some really neat technology to bridge the two, and technology is Kanzi Connect, which Audi was using. Um, so that's uh, effectively the, um, you know, we're trying to bring the ease of use, uh, uh, plug into our uh, um, normal workflow, uh, the efficient workflow, um, and enable a seamless uh, user, uh, user experience that's true to the brand of the car. So the OEMs can maintain brand identity uh, while they integrate third-party services and even displays and, and uh, um, uh, devices for multiple manufacturers and with multiple operating systems, so a truly seamless uh, user experience for the connected car. Um, it's really hard to say because so many of them use Kanzi that uh, I, I, I'm not going to choose between the best. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.